Hey y'all, Shelly here with another tip for hospice nurses. So it's Friday and Fridays I like to do self-care tips. And today, I don't know how much of a tip I have is, is it's much that we need to open the door to having these discussions about what is a manageable caseload? So you know I'm doing the Hospice Nurse Your Opinion Matters survey, and I've looked at the preliminary results so far. They're saying that, you guys are saying that 14 is what you consider optimal and manageable for a caseload, but your average caseload is 20. So big difference there. Um, and I see a lot of posts from hospice nurses and talking about, well, here's how you manage 20 patients. You see them once every 14 days, you have to work with an LPN and different things like that. They can definitely make it doable. But what we need to think about and remember is that case managing in hospice is not just about visits. It's not just how many visits can I make. It's how many patients can I manage to make them to make their experience and their time on hospice as absolutely wonderful as it can possibly be. And that's what we do as case managers. And it's a lot because we're also and taking phone calls from the patient, from the caregiver, take, doing refills, supplies, all of that kind of stuff. You know, we're always getting these phone calls and the more patients you have, the more phone calls you get. And I think we've just become so used to this that it's crept up over time so much that this seems normal. But let me give you some perspective. When I first became a hospice nurse 22 years ago, I had a caseload of 10 with a max overflow of 12. I never had more than 12 patients. I worked with an LPN and a CNA. They only worked with me, so the three of us took care of those 10 or 12 patients. We saw our patients three times a week. That was the norm, three times a week. We had a few that we saw twice a week. We didn't have any patients that were once a week. And that's what we did. That's pretty much what everybody around did. That's down here. That's how it was. That was the norm. And so it's changed so much. I mean, what has changed that now we can have a caseload of 20? Because our patients, are they, are they, do they have less physical needs? Definitely not. Less emotional needs? Absolutely not. Is our drive time easier? Are we able to get around quicker? <laughs> Definitely not. The drive time is crazy. So everything is more difficult and we're seeing more patients, something's going to give here. And I, I think that we need to start having that discussion about really what is manageable and having opening the door with our boss and with our company to have professional and respectful conversations about what we can and cannot do to provide the care that our hospice patients needs and have a life that we love because you deserve that. We deserve to have a happy life. We don't need to be working 24-7. So I hope this opens up the door for the discussion that we can have and to start making some real change. And if you haven't taken the Hospice Nurse Your Opinion Matters survey, please go take it. That's where I'm getting this data from and where we can make a difference. And y'all remember, together we can change our world.